Episode 7 is brought to you by fans. Introducing the Gen Z fan. They never want to work and end up costing you money. Their hobbies include traveling, hanging with friends, ghosting people, complaining, and watching TikTok videos. Act now and we'll throw in the larger body positivity fan, louder than the smaller fan, and you can't mention their bigger 200 by 200 millimeter frame as unhealthy. Now available on Amazon. So you want a 3D print. And no, I'm not talking about your dad's hobby single extruder printer shoved in the garage where he prints 3D printed widgets from Thingiverse because he thinks they're cool. You want a 3D print awesome. Multicolor prints. <laughs> now before you start down the rabbit hole of YouTube videos and 3D printers for sale and you come across the influencer man on the internet, he's saying you need dual extruders because two filaments and two nozzles and I hear two and that's better than one and he keeps saying two a lot and he has a lot of followers so what he must be saying is important and true and two is more than one just stop don't even think about buying some top shelf dual extruder like the Ultimaker S5 the Ultimaker S5 top shelf I'm better than everyone printer is their dual extruder enclosed printer which for a stunning price of a used car will no doubt meet your printing requirements. But if you have to take out a loan just for dual extruders and the printer's name, consider the extruder you are using. But can you really use a single nozzle extruder to print multicolor prints? And the answer is yes. And it won't cost your entire paycheck to do. <music> One extruder called the NF3 in 1 Hot and I bought back in 2019 and I built an entire custom printer called Imprint X on it. It was so reliable, I didn't have an issue with it for years. The small design was so good and fit perfectly for tight X carriages, and the all metal design provided reliable parts. It is about $45, but includes all the heating components. I didn't like the flimsy thermistor wire that was attached to the hot end by a single screw, and the cooling fan was not a standard 30 millimeter size, which can cause issues. Yes, that's foreshadowing. Moving on. The Big Tree Tech 3 in 1 Out extruder is quickly becoming my favorite. It's cheaper than the NF, and it comes in red. Guys, take my money. The all-metal design is reliable, and I like the thermal insulation on the hot end. The thermal sensor is a probe instead of a loose wire, and the cooling fan is a 30 millimeter size, which makes replacing it easier. It comes in black too, and a 24 volt heater option, but I'm a man of action, and the second old NF on Imprint X croaked out due to the thermal sensor wire breaking. It was the perfect opportunity to put the Big Tree Tech 3 in 1 out extruder on Imprint X. And I know what you're thinking are you really going to replace an entire extruder you said you liked when you could just simply replace the wire? And to that, I said, duh. Get ready for a major remodel, fellas. We're back in hardware mode.
Lord. So when I first connected the cooling fan to the power supply, and I provided the power to the printer, the fan refused to work. Out of frustration, I coined it the Gen Z of fans and yelled at it and was confused to why it didn't want to work and do its job. Had I done something wrong? Of course not. When I disconnected the cooling fan from the extruder and tested it separately, the fan worked. Apparently, only on the extruder, it did not work. Just to be certain, I went ahead and extended the fan wires by soldering. You know, these fans never have long enough wires. And when I connected it to Imprint X, the fan spun. So I concluded the fan was good, and it was only when I installed it to the extruder had I noticed it. I learned the mounting screws that connect the fan to the extruder can actually be over-tightened and hit the blades and prevent them from moving. Sometimes I'm just too strong for my own good. With the extruder back in place, Imprint was back in business and we were ready to print multicolored parts. Well first we had to do some quick bed leveling, you know. All right, now we're ready to print. The Big Tree Tech 3-in-1 out extruder is amazing. And I'm not just saying that to get sponsored by Big Tree Tech and have them send me a whole bunch of free stuff. After completing several multicolor prints, I had no issues with the extruder. It's easy to install, easy to migrate with Marlin 2.0, and it produces a clean multicolor print without the hassle of dual extruders, and you don't even have to buy a new printer. Thank you all for watching this video. Check out the links that are listed in the description below. If you like what we do here, please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, say hello, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next episode. Hope your prints turn out awesome.